we're, we are here up very high in the mountains uh, in what was known as Area 49. It's a mystery that continues to create more questions than answers. Unusual objects emerging without warning around downtown Kelowna. Are they really sent from the future? Are they meant as a warning? Today we set out to find answers. No matter how difficult or dangerous the mission, we will solve the mystery. Well, actually it's not that mysterious. Just ask artist Johan Wessels, as the fossils from the future are all part of his public art project aimed at taking a light-hearted look at how we might be judged by those in the future. And the idea was sort of a humorous take on society and how better to do it than through the, the lens of somebody peering back from, from the future. I thought the idea of old cell phones turning into something like petrified wood, people would probably have them in their houses, like uh, on their coffee table, like a chunk of, oh yeah, these are cell phones, fossilized cell phones. Each piece includes a plaque describing what's in the tube and posing a question, like what devices will we have developed for communication in the future, and what would a future without art look like? It's a creative way to engage the public and arouse the imagination possibly even altering one's take on humanity by creating thoughts of how our generation will be perceived based on what we leave behind. I thought, what if paintings we hold you know, as relics and sacred objects nowadays, from the future they go, ah, oh, what's this? Um, and they don't care. Some people I think were afraid that it would be kind of like pointing a finger, so very serious, but the, the pieces are, are supposed to be humorous and, and kind of poking fun at what and who we are. The idea was, what if this came back from the future and oil, the petroleum distillate, had become so rare that they sold it in test tubes or like little jars like perfume. The sculptures are created out of expanding foam and plywood to give each piece a unique metallic feel. It's a method perfected during his many years as an artist in film and television. The project is one of the first temporary public art displays presented by the Kelowna Art Gallery, and Johan hopes it won't be the last. These are where I think they should be. It's important to take art into the public. People should interact with it on a daily basis, and I think it should challenge people. The Art Gallery hopes the public will help expand the conversation about what the future fossils mean to them by going online to kelownaartgallery.com slash futurefossils. There you can find an interactive map, fun videos with members of the public trying to uncover the mystery of the capsules, as well as Twitter and Facebook links where you can share photos and thoughts on the project. It doesn't always have to be admiration and, you know, oh my goodness. It, you know, just people going, what is that? Is is a brilliant reaction already, so that's important. Reporting for Go on Shaw TV, I'm Brendan Osborne in Kelowna.